Marcus from Hökesås uh, here visiting uh, Oryx headquarter. Today I'm gonna tie a squidroo fly. Uh, the pattern is from the steelhead fishing. I use it for for the, the rainbow trouts in in uh, the river Baltic at my place. So let's get started. We put on the shank and the vise to start with. I put it on some thread and I use 6O. And just close the gaps on the on the shanks. Any shanks would do, depending on the size of the fly, you can use different sizes and, and, and stuff. Uh, some super glue is good to have. The last pass to close close it up. So we cover all the gaps with thread without breaking the thread. Then we go all the way back. Then I have some wire. I use some 035 thin wire. That's for jewelry actually. But it seems suitable for this one too. I double fold it and then I take the hook. Thread it, it's hard to see the camera maybe, but I thread it so I put it on like this. So I have it like this. And then I tie it in about the same length of the shank as the wire length, so you get the fly twice as big with the with the shank and the wire. Double folded. You can, without, uh, yeah, it's sharp shooks, these Oryx. Put a little foam patch on it. And then I cut the extended wire. Let's see. So, we cover the ends with some loose wraps because otherwise you can break the thread. So, some ice. I use some double ice and I have used some UV glue in, in orange to match the fly. Of course you can use any color to match. And some cross wraps to secure it. Get it in place and some more super glue. And some more wraps. That will do. All the way back, and then I'm gonna use some chenille, sparkly ones. I do want silver here. Just attach it in the back. And then you go forward to let's attach the rubber legs, put it aside. I'm gonna use this color. Uh, you fold it in half and cut it off, so you get half the length. That's the perfect length of this fly. I already tied the fly, so I want ready. And this one, I divide it in half. One bunch for the upside and one for the downside of the hook, yes. It's really good to have this where they glued together left. It's easier to tie them in. So I put one half and just tie it in on the top end of the shank. Some loose wrap first and then some heavy ones. And then I just flip it over and do the same on the other side. Then you get the spread of the rubber legs all over the shank so you get a nice nice fly when you are done and just tie it down and then I'm gonna come with the chenille all over the body and 
this fly is magic to fish because it's have movements all the time even when you swing the fly you have really a lot of movement on the fly so so touch so and then I'm just gonna fold the rubber legs backwards and I use like a small clamp to get the rubber legs when I do a small dubbing loop in the front. They are lively, those rubber legs. <laughs> dubbing loop in the front. That would push the rubber legs a little bit backwards and I get a little base. And then I use a dubbing of choice. I use some spawn semi seal here in, in yellow to match the end part of the legs. Just a small bunch. I use a dubbing loop because it gets me more spiky and durable. So just a couple of centimeters of, of, uh, of this and then just cross crossing turns over the hooks like this and then we end it up. This easy peasy, some few materials and a really lively fly in the water when you swing it. This color is magic on the wintertime fishing.